Vigo. I don't know. I don't even know if he has green eyes, but I don't know. I just thought that these look kind of cool, but I just feel like I didn't put them in correctly because it's like I could kind of see it low key blocking my vision. I don't know. All right, let's just get into it so we can get this over with. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a. Um, I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Ferris. So it's like a super white color. Obviously, the Joker is super white, but I don't know if I want to go like his white or really light for a black person. Like clearly white for black. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we decide on. Okay, we're going his white, I guess. Maybe I might, I don't know. So we're just gonna work this in real quick. I might, mm, I don't know. I'm gonna get some of this damn green on my damn blender. Hope I don't have boogers in my nose. Contacts are really getting on my fucking nerves, I swear. So, yeah, I'm trying to get this as close to my hairline without smudging all the green. Cause that is not gonna be cute. I'm scared to like close this eye. This is the eye that's like bothering me and the contact isn't like settled like in one area. It's like fucking moving around and giving me a hard time. <laughs> oh my God, I look so fucking insane. I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my normal like light concealer just to kind of make this not as white. I mean, I know he's like super pale, but I don't know. I don't know. Something doesn't sit right with me with my face this way. <laughs> this concealer is just going to bring a little bit of yellow to my complexion, which kind of makes sense. It's like that yellow tone, that light yellow tone is kind of peeking through. It kind of makes sense because Jared Leto is probably the complexion of my actual, his real complexion is actually, it's probably the complexion of my concealer. And when you have, obviously he wears like this super light, like paint on his face and body, obviously his real complexion is got, kind of going to peek through. So adding this concealer is definitely giving, sort of giving that illusion. You can kind of see just that yellowness peeking through. And then I'm also going to work it down my body a little bit in here. I'm gonna use like a bigger body brush. This has like glitter in it. So I use it once and it has like like a four body luminizer. Hopefully that does not peek through. But this is just gonna help me spread this a lot quicker. I'm gonna have to clean my earrings after this clearly. I am going to go ahead and just kind of cover the majority of my upper body because I am going to do his tattoos probably or just on, only on my upper body a little bit more but it's fine because around Joker's eyes like underneath his eyes is pretty red like mine's are <laughs> bloodshot red these contacts oh I'm never putting contact I'm so glad that I have pretty good vision and I probably won't have to wear glasses or contacts for very maybe when I'm old but I'm just happy I don't have to wear that shit now because Lord when I tell you the struggle to put these shits on oh my god I can't I can't I can't even explain all right anyway so now we're gonna move on to eyebrows so 
obviously the joker oh I, I don't even think i mentioned the joker that i'm going for today is the suicide squad joker jared leto jared leto joker whatever his name is um obviously his version of the joker does not have eyebrows but i actually just want to just do some eyebrows i'm kind of glamifying this joker just a tinge just a tinge not very much so and of course i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like do my eyebrows with the precision that i normally would i'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of just create a brow real quick and yeah and oh by the way i'm using I'm using this cream palette, cream face palette. Um, I bought it in a duo pack. I don't know where the other one is. It's probably somewhere over there, but it came with a two pack. And the other pack obviously have different colors. It has like pinks and green and stuff like that. And I got it from Amazon. It is, I'm sure, a dupe to the Makeup Forever color palette or something like that. That one is like obviously much more expensive, so I opted to get this one because I would only use a palette like this for Halloween anyways. I don't think I would find use for it on my regular like day-to-day -day life, so I wanted to get one that's just a little bit not gonna break the bank. <laughs> okay, so I have some brows on. I feel like I can't look into the camera I can't look into the light because my eyes is just so incredibly irritated from this contact, especially this eye. Ugh, Jesus. Never again. I'm not putting my fucking contacts in my eye. Never again. Alright, so I just quickly do some eyebrows. I'm just cleaning this angled brush off a little bit because I'm gonna go in the brown color. And obviously this is not a natural look at all, but I just kind of want to make it a little teensy bit more realistic and just kind of do some flicks of hair through this. You may not even be able to see it on camera. It's just add a little bit of dimension to the eyebrows. I think I put a little bit too much there, but nothing major. This is not obviously not necessary but I just kind of felt like doing it so that's good I look so fucking crazy and scary I cannot <laughs> I cannot um grab the life's a drag palette from Manny MUA and the the first color is called cake face and it's a white like a just stark white shadow and I'm just going to go in with just a flat brush and I'm just going to set my eyelids because they clearly look crazy and they're creasing like hell. Creasing, but it's okay. This is like the fucking grungiest look you could ever go for for Halloween is the Joker. All right, so that's all set. Now I'm gonna go in, which color did I wanna go? I'm gonna go in with a taupey shade. I'm either, this is the um, Juvia's Place, the Warrior 2 palette. This is such a pretty palette, I love this. But I'm either gonna go in with Kana, which is this taupe shade here, or I'm gonna go in with, or I might mix it with Hunty, which is this shade here from the life's drag palette so yeah don't know yet actually i'm just gonna mix them both so there we go that settles it all right now i'm gonna go for a pretty like a larger fluff uh fluffy brush just because with this particular color i want to cover a big a larger basis than i normally would with like doing eyeshadow i just kind of usually just kind of want to get precisely in the crease but because obviously this is the joker look nothing is precise with this look at all so i'm gonna go ahead and use a sephora professional brush the numbers scratched off on it or should i use this anastasia brush okay i don't know if they miss i mean the brushes don't matter honestly the the exact shade like um the exact 
shadow you use doesn't matter as long as you're using a taupey shadow and you're buffering this into the crease area like so and then I'm gonna also um, bring this shadow underneath my lash line as well You can see I'm just doing this real messy. This stuff just doesn't have to be neat at all. The, nothing has to be neat with this look actually. So we have that taupey shade around the eye into that cream palette and I'm gonna go into the red and ugh, I'm real brave for this because my eyes are already so irritated but I'm just gonna go in and line my waterline my eyes are already well they're not as red as they were before but these contacts are just I feel like these contacts are making me look cockeyed as fuck because they're just like not sitting correctly especially this one like it's it feels like it's gonna move out of place any second whatever all right so i'm just gonna line my waterline with this um to give the appearance of like bloodshot eyes if you like really look at joker's eyes they're really red in the waterline so i'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick make sure you guys can see me this is like what i struggle with the most doing something like really close to the eyes and making sure i'm not blocking the camera with my mirror camera was pissing me off too i need new light like i want to get rid of this ring light and once i get rid of this ring light because it's too small i'm gonna start using my canon we just do making do with what we have all right so cool we have this and i might add a little bit of black like just to make the area look a little bit more sunken but We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Now I'm just working on this eye. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in with the black with on a flat brush. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of the black to my lid. start setting that color and then I'm gonna use a fluffy brush to kind of blend it out but I want to set it first only because I know this damn cream black does not dry down and it will move all around it on top of that dip a teeny bit into that black color just to have some on the brush just to blend out I'm gonna close this eye. It might make it easier for me to see and blend. Yep. Again, this is not a neat look at all. So that's the best part about this look. Prince picture, and he does have some darkness here, sort of in this area here. And then, so I added some black underneath the eyes sort of in that crease and then now i'm gonna go in with the that taupey shade that i use from the jump i'm gonna go in and kind of just bring some of that taupiness back to life make it a little bit more visible and sort of blend out some of that black using the taupe color and then i'm gonna do the same for the red color as well that we're using Um, I'm going to add some lashes just because, like I said, I'm doing a little bit more of a glam. Very, I'm, I still want to be very true to this Joker. However, just gonna get a, a little, just a little bit glam. So I'm gonna go in 
to my shade and light palette the Kat Von D shade and light palette I'm gonna use the ashiest tone right here it's called sub subconscious yes yeah, conscious and I'm just using a angled brush and I'm just going to sort of stamp this on like a very faint scar I'm gonna blend it out a little bit just so it's not as intense. I'm gonna go over it with the brush, with the beauty blender. So I'm gonna mix some of the matte black shadow in this same warrior palette with Zaz, whatever, however you pronounce that. He has a crack here. And this is the finished look. So I have my, I have my jacket on. We have a little tattoo there. That was the only tattoo that actually made sense. And I have a little J hair. I don't know if you guys could see it. I have my gold chain. I have my grills. I don't know their hair. I'll put them in for my picture. But they look crazy in my mouth right now, and I won't be able to talk if I put them in. Um, so I decided not to 
draw damage on my forehead. I did it four times. It looked insane. And I have a pretty small fucking forehead, so it's hard to write that whole word on my forehead. So I'm just going to edit it into my picture so you guys will see that. Um, yeah. I don't give a damn. I'm going to do it. <laughs> and do not forget to tune into my Instagram on Halloween day to see the full look. Please do not forget to subscribe and have a good day, guys. Bye.